Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Today what we're going to be doing is we bought a new meat grinder and we're going to show you how we grind up our meat. <laughs> our meat. <laughs> be quiet. Alright guys, what we got today is, if anybody's been to the grocery store lately, you know that inflation is killing everybody and uh, like hamburger meat has gone through the roof. Eggs, uh, milk, bread, everything has absolutely gone crazy in prices. And especially, you know, hamburger meat. Bidenomics. Well, we go to the stores like Go Grocery and Ingles and stuff like that, and we try to catch meat on sale. And if we can find it, like a what's that, London broil or something like that? Yeah, this is 100% Angus beef. It's a London broil. London broil. Yeah, it was on sale. We got it, and which kind of helped us go right in hand hand with this thing right here. We just got this with this with this mindset that we want to do get this meat on sale, and we can grind our own hamburger meat. So. With that being said, we got this thing off Amazon, and we will leave a link to it down in the description. And we want to try it. I've never tried this one right here. I don't even know the brand, don't even know the name, stuff like that. But it was like 50 bucks, so it's pretty cheap. And we're going to try. We're going to try to grind our own hamburger meat, which will come in really beneficial for us. The reason, the reason behind getting one of these is, is because we hope to get a couple of deer this hunting season. You know, put in the freezer and stuff like that. And this will give us opportunity, a way to grind that meat up when we need to. We'll, we got a slicer somewhere, and now we got a meat grinder. So if we want to make hamburger out of it, or deer burger, or whatever you want to call it, or whatever, we can. We got the little machine here to do it with. So with that being said, we want to go ahead and get one, and we're going to test it out on this. Here we're going to make our own hamburger meat tonight, and we're going to see how good it does. So we'll get this thing out and we'll put it together, and see how well it works for 50 bucks. You know. So. All right. Right out of the box. I guess these right here would be the sausage stuffers you put on there and put your little thing on there and stuff the sausage. And you use this to pack your meat down in it. Ain't got a clue what that's for. We'll figure it out. And these are the little wheels, the grinding disc and stuff like that, cutters or cutting heads or whatever. All right. Here's a little meat tray that sits on top. Okay. what this does. Okay, I know where this goes. And I'm glad it comes with instructions because I ain't never, I ain't never had one of these, so. And I got the blue to match, match my Pioneer kitchen stuff. Yeah, you can get, I think they got four or five different colors and she just wanted the blue. Okay. Well, I want it to match. Well, that being said, this goes in here somewhere or another. A few moments later. Okay, there's how that goes. Okay. It just snaps right in. Who went for the instructions? I guess we'll never know. Right. Okay. Then that just sits right on top of it, just like that. Okay. Yes. Okay. This right here is. I really don't know. So. That's a grinder thing. That's probably a sausage one there. Yeah, the way that it grinds it. Yeah. This cutter right here goes Oh, there's a blade on it. Okay, cool. Yeah, it shows you right here the way to put that Okay, in. there's a blade on it. Okay, and this right here is just like how big you want the, basically the meat coming out of it, like the strings or whatever. And you want to go with like something real fine right here. I mean, you got like, let's see, we got one, two, three different heads right here. And I'd say we go with, probably not the real fine one, but the middle one. What do you think? This one right here? Yeah. I'd say we go with this middle one. Okay. And then just, basically just lock it on there. Just like that. Put it right in there. Then you screw this back off it. That's for the sausage stuffer. All right, guys, give us a minute to get everything set up. Got a couple more things here. Let me get it set up, and then I'll be right back. So basically what we have is it comes with three heads, or three whatever you want to call these things. I have to look on there and see what they're called again. That's what the meat spits out there. You got a large one, a medium one, and a small one. That'd be like for like lasagna or something. Yeah. I don't know. 
But anyway, this is the trays that you made up here. It'd be the coarseness. Yeah, and these right here are all four. This right here snaps on there, just like that. And these are all, it goes right there. And you put these on it right here. And that's what you stuff your sausage with. But like I said, I don't, we'll try sausage later. Uh, I don't eat sausage, she does. So we'll definitely try it later. And this right here is what you use to basically pack your meat down in here. <laughs> pack your meat. But anyway, you just poke your meat down in there. And you come with an extra little cutting blade right here. There's one, there's one on it. Okay, what we have now is we have this right here. What's this London Brule, is that what you said? Yes. Okay, we have this meat here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it up in chunks that will fit down in here. It's 100% Angus London Royal. Yep. And I did wash my hands. Me too. But this, a good way to look at this thing right here is a lot of times when you get deer meat and you grind it up and you make like a hamburger patty out of deer meat, it won't stick together to fall apart. But what you can do is you can add beef into it and it'll still it'll stick together and you know like a like a regular hamburger patty and it's actually really good that way you can give her i have no clue what that's for i think that'll be enough so i mean as you can see it does does pretty good. Growing up, I absolutely hated onions. I hated them with a passion. And now I can eat them just like an apple, you know, so. How much you want in there, like, about this much? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, half an onion. And if anybody remembers the video that we put out on the chopper, right here it is. This is the $4 chopper from the flea market. This thing's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's really cool. As you can see, that thing right there, I didn't think I showed it good last time, but it grinds up really, really, really fine. Some pepper. Some salt. And then that's garlic yeah. and herb. Yeah, we like using this on a lot about everything that we cook. It's roasted garlic and herb. This is actually really good. So we use it on a lot of, well, most of the meat we cook, honestly. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you stir it in a minute. I'll put a little more. Okay. That should be good. Yep. We'll name this video Hillbilly Ham Bagels. <laughs> smells good though, that seasoning. Yeah. So our hamburger meat is cooking. We're actually going to change our valve out and do a smaller one and see how it does because we're going to make some meatloaf tomorrow night. Do a small, medium, and large, like diameter holes that it squeezed through the large one i know is just way too big for hamburger meat i'm gonna try the small one see what it does sheep sheep lamb that sheep too i know fingers were there too huh <laughs> <laughs> i strongly advise you do not put your fingers over there because this thing is like razor sharp oh i know I just sharpened it right before we started this fiasco. Mm -hmm. You can make lasagna, spaghetti, goulash, chili. Cream of some young guy? No. <laughs> right, go ahead and start pumping it through there while I cut the rest up. We're running out of stacking room. Uh, my daddy said we'll rack them up like cordwood.
And I gotta be honest with you, grinding fresh meat like that through this thing, it kind of stinks. I think that's actually a lot finer. That's actually a lot better. It yeah. probably yeah, that's patty right. up a lot better. Yeah. You can make little meatballs and stuff for like spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Or goulash or yummy. Flip these it's way it's way finer that way. That last blade right there. So the medium and the fine, this large one, like I said, that has to be for like sausage or something, but we'll figure it out. We'll use it whenever we want to make sauce. This is a little cheap, I guess the meat grinder or whatever from uh, Amazon. We'll leave a link to it, the one that we, that's the one we have, we'll leave a link to it down in the description if anybody wants to check it out. And as you can see, it went from grinding it up to burgers. So, these things smell good, they look good. If you guys haven't done so yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. It's free to do, won't cost you nothing. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good night. God bless. Bye, guys.